Good evening. Just going to make sure that uh, everything is... Oh, that is definitely not the layout I was hoping to have. Just give me one moment here to adjust everything that that I uh, that I have here hopefully there we go now I can actually see it streaming properly on um, on twitch I'm just gonna make sure that I am yes everybody can can hear me all right cool. All right, so I hope this evening is finding everybody well, and uh, I hope this is finding everybody well, and uh, those of you who are joining me, thank you. Thank you for joining me. I am going to do a run through, uh, playthrough and tutorial of Thousand Year Old Vampire by Tim Hutchings. This is uh, a game I saw I saw done on a friend's uh, friend's live stream, and it's fantastic. It is absolutely absolutely fantastic. It uh, it takes you in 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 very very interesting uh, very very interesting directions. And um, as as a writer, I I am a habitual planner. This game tells basically. Um, it forces me to toss all my plans out the window. Uh, sometimes it sometimes it works, but sometimes you end up actually with a with a prompt that um, that just yeah yeah your your plan um, your plans don't see the light of day. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna do a quick uh, quick tutorial and then get into the game. So the uh, the photo that I have up here is the is the cover of the book that um that is currently going through uh going to be going through a second printing i have purchased that i uh, i snatched that uh that that photo uh actually from the link uh from the uh hio link below right there uh which is where you can order it if you uh if you wish to you can order a, P a pdf uh download which i believe is about uh I believe it's 15 dollars us uh you can also order a uh, the second uh second print of the book, uh, the hardcover book itself, which is what I have done. So, without further ado, I'm just going to pull that back. There we go. Welcome to Thousand Year Old Vampire. Uh, as you can see, I have already done a, uh, I've already done one, one playthrough uh, of it. This is actually my second vampire creation, and I've given a little bit of thought uh, as to who I, as who I am ahead of time. So uh, going through this, this game is a prompt based game. It's a it's a solo RPG in which you follow prompts that are given in the uh, in the PDF uh, or the uh, or the physical or the physical book. And you see where those prompts take you. Um, you, uh, you you take what's take what's given and and run with it. And uh, so uh so yeah so basically uh you start off i have let me pull up my cheat sheet here just so i have uh i have everything so in creating your vampire your first step is obviously creating your vampire who are they uh or who are you uh who are you where are you going to be where are you from uh what is uh essentially what is your lot in life and uh, your vampire uh will have your vampire has skills, things that they can do. These things, uh, you start off the game with three of just about everything. Um, so you start off with three skills, you start off with three resources. And uh, so the skills, uh, they should be things that are specific. Um, you could and, and relate to uh, who you are, your lot in life. Um, so they could be, it, again, should be something, uh, something really, really, uh, not really, really specific, but, um, instead of saying something like, um, you know, something like evasion, you could say instead you have quick reflexes, um, you know, because that it's, it's, it's a little bit more, a little bit more specific, a little bit more to the point. 
uh, my last playthrough, um, I did myself just to get a um, a feel a feel for the game. My my previous vampire began life as a farmer, and uh, so the the skill that I one of the skills I gave her was I know the soil. Uh, you know, I know what can grow in what soil. And uh, as you go, skills can be checked. Skills can be lost. Uh, when you check a skill, you'll just just put a little X next to it. Um, you could uh, you could also strike it uh, strike it out. Um, but do not delete that checked skill because they may come back. Uh, a later prompt may tell you to uh, to bring back that lost skill. Similarly, we have the resources. And again, these can be these can actually these can be almost anything. Um, they can be something like uh, a family heirloom, um, a locket that your mother had. Uh, the player's book mentions a diamond tiara, uh, a lucky penny. You could also have something like a castle, um, which would be a stationary resource. So you could have uh, a resource that you can take with you, like a penny, a sword. Um, my uh, my my vampire had a. Uh, my last vampire had a um, had a farming spade that uh, that she carried around uh, with her for quite a while, and uh, and then they, you could also have stationary uh, stationary resources like a castle. Obviously, you cannot pick up a castle and haul it with you when you if you need to move. If when you need to uh, you need to move, resources again can uh, resources can also be lost, but they can also come back. So when when you are told to lose a resource, do not delete it. It can come back. In my last playthrough, I had a um, my last playthrough. I uh, I had a I had an estate that I ended up get, getting back again, which was uh, like something like four hundred years later. It was actually it was it was really fun. Hello, Dylan. Hello. Thank you. Thank you so much for uh, for joining me. I do hope your evening is well. Um, yes, and similarly, again, you can lose you can lose resources um, forever. I just I've just created you know a lost lost skills, lost resources, just to make it uh, make it a little bit more clearer in my head. Um, and actually, since since you can see the diary and the resources, I will uh, I will make a mention of that. Uh, I shall I actually I will come back to the diary. I'll come back to the diary in a minute. Uh, then we have characters. So these are people your these are people your 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 vampire knows. They they knew them um, when they were mortal or uh, or after or after they've turned. These just pe people that your that your character uh, that your vampire runs into. You start the game with three, uh, I believe it's three mortal characters. So uh, characters that will at some point die over the course of of your game and you and you start with one immortal character who is basically your maker is the vampire who created you and you know has turned you into into the the thing you, the thing that that you are uh prompts will tell you to create a character they can tell you to create a character or sorry to uh pardon me to kill off a character um and over the course of the game um as time as time goes on you may realize that um you know Bob, the eighty-six-year-old merchant, you know, after one hundred and fifty years, he's probably long dead. So you might want to might want to uh, strike that character uh, that character out. But then again, he might not be. Um, you know, <laughs> um, in a strange twist of fate, depending on uh, depending on what the th what the prompts give you, um, he could end up coming back. <laughs> um, I've I, I've 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 seen it happen, <laughs> um, and then next on the list here we have marks, which are things that uh, something left behind is something left behind from becoming a vampire. So, um, it could be something uh, like a permanently broken neck, or uh, my last vampire had a permanently broken ankle, and um, and she walked with a limp from then on. Um, you know, it could be a, uh, you could have a, a a gash on your forearm, and because of it, you wear long sleeves to cover it. Um, and you always, there's always something that you do, uh, or that happens because of that mark. Uh, whether you're covering it up, or you continuously, or you will forever walk with a limp. 
Uh, marks, can you can end up with more than one. Um, I think I ended up with two by the end of my last uh, my last playthrough. Um, and I think it's also po it's possible that you may be able to get rid of them, although I have not run I have not personally yet run into a prompt um, that that says to get rid of to get rid of a mark. But uh, uh, my assumption is you could pr could probably happen. Um, I, I've I, I've seen Stranger Things, and then we get into the what is essentially the meat and potatoes of this game, the memories which are based on the prompts that you um, that you go through in the game. To get the prompts, you roll you roll these guys over here. Uh, so you roll a d10, uh, which is a 10-sided die, and a d6, uh, which is a 6-sided die. You roll them together, and you subtract the d6 from the d10. So you would do something something like that. So, okay, so we have oh, three, so it ends up with three minus two. It, we, you end up with minus one. You can, I, so by the, by, the to, uh, by the result that you have, either you move forward in the prompts or you move back. If you, uh, each prompt has, um, which is actually kind of cool, each prompt has uh, three, um, three sections. You have the main section and then you have two other ones. Uh, so if you land on it a second time, you would do the second, uh, the second uh, prompt in that, in that list. Um, as it were, you have five memory slots, and each memory, uh, each memory slot has three experiences that go along with it. The experiences are ta are uh, are themed, or should be themed, should be tied together somehow by person, by place, by even by a feeling, even by. Um, you know, it could be it could be about journeying. It could be about traveling. It could be about your father. It could be about uh, about the ship you were you you were on. Um, they should be tied um, tied together in some way. But once a memory, once your memories are full, or you know, even if you have, let's uh, if once your memories are full are full. Or if you have one memory with one extra experience, but the prompt that you've landed on doesn't relate to anything, your vampire has to forget something. And this is where that diary comes in. You can choose to place uh, a memory in that diary. And a diary doesn't necessarily have to be a book. It could be anything. It could be anything. It could be uh, it could be a tapestry with uh, with images sewn into it. It could be a piece of pottery. Um, my uh, my my previous my previous vampire. She had a walking stick with little intricate carvings uh, carved in to uh, to represent each 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 diary, each memory entry, and um, you have you have four. Uh, for uh, diary slots, and uh, that's it. That's it. You have you have four. You can only remember four four memories out of out of your five, and your vampire will then remember that memory verbatim. So uh, as it is written, your your va your vampire has forgotten it uh, in the organic, tangible sense, but they assume. Um, hello, Scott. Hello. Thank you. Uh, thank you for for joining me. Uh, Scott's, uh, Scott's case files. I actually just, I watched, um, him do a playthrough of Thousand Year Old Vampire as well, uh, which was really, really interesting. So thank you. Thank you for joining, for joining me. And I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting, to meeting Dogni as well. Um, so, um, so yeah, sorry. So getting back to the diary, uh, your diary can be lost. And once it is lost, those, uh, yeah, <laughs> those memories, those memories are gone. And um, sometimes, eventually, you will forget your name. You will forget who you are. You will forget where you've come from. And uh, that's when things really do start to get a little interesting. <laughs> Can really get interesting. Um, I have done something here that um, that you don't have to do. I have done what's called an end game memory. 
which is essentially going to be the last memory that um, I have in this game, it'll be, it's what, eventually your vampire will be destroyed. And, I mean, normally, normally people don't tell stories from beyond the grave, but it's just fun. It's fun to, uh, to come up with, with how, how your vampire might have been destroyed, uh, and write it down, you know, just, just for the fun, just for the fun. So with that, uh, I am going to, I'm going to, I'm going to get started here. So for the memories, you begin, and I'm just going to, um, I have the, I have the PDF uh, here in front of me, and I just need to remember how this all goes. Ah, uh, yes, there are, uh, sorry, as I go, as I, as I look through here, there are two ways to play this game. You can do a quick game, uh, which is essentially you're just answering the prompts in two or three sentences. Uh, what happened, how it made you feel, what you did about it. Move on. Then there's a journaling game. And I'm going to try and do a mix of a quick and a journaling um, a journaling game. Um, I'm definitely going to write out some of the memories, uh, but I'm probably going to play a little bit loose with the history. Um, every so often I may have to check something. But um, I'm gonna, gonna try and play it as 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 loose as as I can, um, because I do have a habit of falling down research rabbit holes. <laughs> so I will try not to subject you guys to that. Um, so yes, yeah, so to begin, you begin. Um, where are my memories? There we go. So uh, so yes, yeah, so so first, actually, we need to create. We need to create some skills. We need to create my uh, vampire. So essentially. Let's start there. Let's start with who I am. Uh, and also, sorry, and then there's a, um, sorry again, the reason that there are, I have names in brackets, is because your vampire, as I said, may forget their name. Uh, they will gain a name uh, as, as, as they go. Their name may change several times. Um, and it's important to um, to have them down so that you can keep track of, of who your vampire is, uh, essentially who you are and or and or what they are now, um, what the name they are now going by. Uh, and then if they've completely forgotten a name, you can you can strike that out. So my vampire. So I am Dogney and I am. I am a Viking shield maiden. And um, there isn't really a lot known, unfortunately, about um, about you know women in in, in Viking culture. But um, I am going to have fun with this. I I am definitely going to have fun um, with with all of this. And um, so she was born. I haven't really thought of a date, but uh, she's born probably in the uh, the early early to mid. 900s um in and around the time of the um i say the second i guess the second um expansion of of of, of vikings into uh uh into the british isles and uh and, and and elsewhere um let's go with let's go with 925 that just no 925 not 921 that just sounds good. Sounds good to me. And now I need my skills. All right, so let's see. So now if I am a shield maiden, this means uh, actually in, in within Viking culture that I am probably within um, the... Um, status known as a Jarl. Uh, they were they were the um, aristos aristocracy. They were uh, and most of them were warriors. Most of them were warriors, explorers. Uh, they went off to um, to do what they uh, to to do what they to do what they do. And so let's see. Well Actually, I think I can I can think of I can think of one um, right here. 
I know how I've got, oh dear, spelling, aristocracy. I know Viking aristocracy. Uh, I'm being very loose with that, uh, that term. I will, uh, I, I, I will, uh, I will let you know that now I'm being a little bit, a little bit loose with it. Uh, let's see another skill. I need, I need another one. Uh, well, I'm a shield maiden. I know my way around a sword. Um, so I'm going to go swordsmanship. Uh, I, it really does help if I can type properly. Swordsmanship. There. Um, yeah, I, I have a weapon and I know how to use it, <laughs> essentially, is what this, um, is what that goes down to. Um, let's see, I need, I need one more, one more skill. Um, let's see. Hmm. I know the astros I know the the aristocity. I know swordsmanship. Hello, hello, David. Hello, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. I hope your evening is uh is going well. Um, I've just sort of um. Oh, you know the game. You've you've played it. You are the one who introduced it to me in the first place. Uh, Once upon a die is uh, is David. He does uh, he does essentially this. He does uh, solo solo board gaming, and uh, and he's doing some solo RPGs. And he's actually the one who introduced me to this game. So uh, this stream would not be happening <laughs> were it not for uh, were it not for him. Uh, so I'm just going through some some skills. Um, I'll just catch you up a little bit here, David. I am Dogni. I am a Viking shield maiden, uh, born in 925, uh, and uh, I'm just going through some of my some of my skills, trying to think of a third one that uh, that would be uh, that could possibly be be relevant. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I know. Okay, I know my way around a sword. I know which way is the pointy end. That's helpful. That is always helpful when, uh, when, uh, in any kind of, <laughs> in any kind of thing, know which end is the pointy one. Um, and uh, you know what? I am going to, um, I know armor. I know what makes good armor. I know what makes... <laughs> you are very welcome, David. Um, so I know armor. I know I know what metals it... Or I know what makes good armor. I know what makes bad armor. I... Yeah, that's 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 pretty much um, that's that's I'm looking forward to her story too, to David. Uh, sorry, David uh, says she sounds exciting. Looking forward to her story. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to Dogney's uh, story myself. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that is uh, those are my skills, and now I have my resources. And again, I've I just I've just uh, added my diary in there just so that I am aware um, that I have it. Um, so resources. Well, well, I have my sword. Uh, that's, I think that's a pretty good, pretty good resource to have. Uh, would be very, very helpful. And I need a, okay, so I have a sword. And I probably, I probably have access to serfs of some kind um just based on uh just sort of based on my lot in life ultimately um so i'm yeah i'm just i'm gonna just put you know i have uh, i have a few servants i have a few serfs that uh that uh that take care of me when it's ultimately when it's needed um i can ultimately take care of myself but just somebody to uh to to uh to do the more basic things, I suppose. Um, you know, uh, for me or somebody to help me get my ultimately somebody to help me get my armor on. Um, at least when that eventually, when that when when that uh, when that time comes. Um, and now one more resource. Um, 
you know what? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm. I think I'm. I'm gonna give her. I'm gonna give her her home. It's uh, so it'll be a stationary resource. Um. Oh, uh, David says uh, having Wi-Fi issues. Sorry if I drop in and out a bit. Uh, that is all right. Uh, I know there was. Uh, we just had a thunderstorm run through uh, about an hour or so ago, and uh, I was sort of going, okay, is is my Wi-Fi going to be up? But it's uh, it is held up, which is which is awesome. Uh, so. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna give myself a stationary resource. Uh, I'm gonna give myself um, basically I have a home. Um, I have a home. It's probably somewhat modest, uh, a little bit modest, but uh, I I have a home um, in ultimately I guess what would what would be modern day what would what would be Norway um, in the west of Norway. And then at some point I will have my diary. Next. I get to have I get to I get to create a few people. And this is actually something I've also thought about. Uh I also thought about before I uh before I started the stream just so that I wasn't spending a lot of time looking at names, figuring out uh figuring all of these all of these things out just to make a quicker uh, character creation. So I'm going to start off with Njal, who is my father. And he is, uh, he's a soldier. He is, uh, he is a, he's a, uh, he's a Viking soldier, a Viking warrior. And he is, uh, I'm just going to put in in here that he is mortal. Just so that, uh, just so that I I can keep track of who is, uh, who is mortal and and who is not. Next we have Geetha, who she's gonna be my she is whoops she is my mother, um, and you know what? Let's play into. <laughs> Um, um, yeah, Dylan, sorry, Dylan says, uh, like Neil, but not, um, yeah, um, essentially, uh, essentially they, they kind of, um, actually the name Neil is actually derived from, from Neil. So a little bit of, uh, a little bit of, a little bit of name etymology for you there. Uh, so yes, yeah, she, so she is my mother and, um. You know what? Let's just let's just let's just go with it. She was she's also uh, she's also a shield maiden. Uh, maybe she hasn't. Maybe she you know didn't. Maybe she hasn't seen a lot of uh, a lot of battle. But she's well trained. She she also knows her way around a sword. I'm I. It's it's a life I've known. It's it's a life I know, uh, and it's a life I enjoy. It's it's a life I enjoy. I enjoy I enjoy swinging a swinging a pointy stick around and and uh, you know cutting through straw straw dummies and. Uh, sparring with people. And next I have Ragnar. He is, he is also, a, he is also a mortal. And him, I haven't quite figured out who he's going to be. I think, uh, I think he's going to be, I think he's going to be a childhood friend. Let's 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 go with that. He is he is a childhood friend. Um, our families our families have known each other for for a very very long time, and yeah, we just we've just grown up together. And my marks and marks. I'll come back. The mark I will come back. To once I uh, once I get there, I am just going to give myself a little uh, bullet point so I know I've just so I know to do that. And all right, so in your character in the character creation, you will begin um, you begin with. Three memories, I believe, um, in three uh, three different uh, three different experiences, 
uh, in three different in three different uh, memories, and they are tied to um. So you're, uh, and you begin, sorry, and you begin with your first experience. So you begin with essentially who you are, um, which I know I sort of did a little bit in the, um, in, in the name portion. Uh, that was a little bit just for me to give, to give myself a, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a, who am I? And so the, uh, the first experience is, uh, is essentially a broad summary of, of who you were before you became a vampire. So uh, this was it's, this is probably just going to be a very brief, uh, brief one. But I am, I am Dogney. Let's change that font just a little bit so that it actually matches everything else. There we go. A little pedantic, but you know. Um, I am Dagny. Daughter of Noel and Keitha, a I am. Uh, I am from a military family, and will someday follow in their footsteps. That is me. That is me. And okay, so I've sort of done this a little bit backwards. Um, I created my characters before I, I created uh, before I created this first memory. Uh, n normally, you would uh, you would then create. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, sorry, David. Uh, David says you killed my father. Prepare to die. Yeah, yeah. That that uh, eventually, possibly, we'll we'll uh, <laughs> we'll. See. <laughs> we'll uh, we'll we'll see how the uh, we'll see how the prompts play out. Uh, it would be a little bit uh, that that would be a lot of fun actually <laughs> if, if the prompts end up going that way. Um, all right. So uh, so yeah. So my so I've already done my character. I've done my characters. Uh, so I have Nyal, my father, Gita, my mother, and uh, Ragnar, who is uh, my childhood friend, and. Then okay, and then we then you do the skills, which I've again I've done this a little bit backwards. You really uh, you really do create your your first experience first, and then you go through what are my skills, what are the resources. I've sort of already thought about this. Uh, I've already thought about it ahead of time. So um, I think doing things is a little bit out of order, and I'm sorry. And then we create. Uh, then you create your resources, and then the the uh, then three more experiences, and they all occur in a separate memory. And they should combine two of your vampire's traits. So either uh, a skill and a resource, a character and a resource, a character and a skill, something, um, something of those, of those, uh, of that, or of that combination. So let's go down here to memory two. And I think, I think this experience is going to be connected to my shield maidenness. Um, connected to, uh, yeah. Um, so I'm actually going to probably end up combining both my parents for this. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm cheating slightly. Uh, but it would be both my parents. I think I would learn, I would learn everything from them. And, uh, actually, no, I'm going to amend that. I'm going to amend that a little bit. Uh, I'm going to come. No, it's going to be. Ah, I know. All right. Um, all right. Let's see here. Uh, my mother was a. Was a respected shield maiden in our community. Our community and often 
took the time to teach me everything she knew. As I grew older, as I grew older and my skills with a blade improved, she, she gifted me the first weapon she ever had a sword short and sweet uh some of them may end up uh later on may end up getting a little bit a uh, little bit longer uh but yeah so I, I i got my sword from my mother that's uh yeah yeah that sounds that sounds good i like that um now let's see Who all, who all do I have up here? I have a sword, I have my serfs, I have a home, uh, which I need to mark actually is a stationary resource because when I when I end up moving somewhere, because eventually I will, uh, time passes and I may have to flee, I cannot pick up that home and carry it with me. Unfortunately, <laughs> as amazing as that would, as that would be, uh, my home is not pre prefabricated. Um, Though, uh, actually, my grandmother did live in a prefabricated house up in Alaska while my grandfather was building Alaska, the Alaska Highway. They just fold it down, put it on the back of a back of a truck, go up a, go up a few miles, reset it up. Uh, unfortunately, these do not exist at this point, so I, I cannot take my home with me, as amazing as that would be. Um, let's see... I think I'm going to use my father in this. That just feels right. Ah. I know. All right. I often accompanied my father on visits. Oh. I th I'm trying to remember the term for one who made armor, and I don't. Th I th I think it's a whitesmith, not a blacksmith. If somebody could correct me. I really don't want to actually look, but I think I th I think they were a whitesmith, as opposed to a blacksmith that uh, that uh, that made the um um you know horseshoes and 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 some of the um some of the uh, some of the weapons, uh, visits, I'm just going to call him the smithy, that works, uh, visits to, visits to our local smithy, uh, I often accompanied, accompanied my father on visits to our local smithy to for armor and weapons, Uh, armor and weapons repairs. The the armor which hung about the shop fascinated me. Fascinated me. I was I was uh, I was enamored by I was enamored by the way by the way the by the 
sort of a metal bent and curved and how different metals how different metals have uh, created different metals and materials created different armor types. Over time, Smithy Over time, the Smithy taught me taught me the ins and outs of of what he did. and and how it all worked there we go that is that one one more let's I kind of want to hmm. I kind of want to involve Ragnar somehow. I'm just not sure how hmm. actually. Yes, I think I know. I think think I might know. Again, I'm playing a little bit a uh, little bit loose with uh, with this. So there uh, there may be a little bit of historical inaccuracies in this, but uh, I'm going to play a little loose here. Um do Okay, so my oops, let's get rid of there. I did not actually start a memory before I started this. The first friend I ever had was Ragnar. His family, his, yeah, his family served mine his family served mine but we were always but we were but we were never kept apart due to our social standings He taught me the value of serfs and that the value of serfs and and that Treating one's serfs well was always a good thing. Because of my close friendship with him, I have come to respect I have come to respect other others in different different social statures. There we go. Those are my first three memories.
Now, I get to create an immortal and a uh, and an experience that uh, that explains how I became what I am. And I've also thought about this because, as I mentioned in the in the beginning of this, I and anybody who um, has ever written with me or, or knows me personally knows I am a, a habitual planner. So I have plan <laughs> I definitely have planned a few things out uh, before starting this. So my immortal character, his name is Bjorn. And uh, he is the vampire who turned me. All right, down here we go to memory five, which becomes, uh, which will be how I was, how I was turned. And all right, let's go. Let's hear. Let's see here. Actually, I do need to do a quick, quick look and make sure that I have my dates somewhat correct. Somewhat. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, <clears throat> it is... Uh -huh. Let's see. Yes, it is. It is the year. <clears throat> it is the year 946, and my father is preparing to sail. Oh, goodness. Would not have been called that. Well, I'll call. I'm gonna again. I'm playing it. I'm doing this a little bit loosey, um, a little bit loosey goosey here. Uh, is preparing, is preparing to sail west on a. I guess what would be the second on a second invasion of. Of Northumbria, of the Northumbria, Northumbria. Thank you very much. <clears throat> of no, not the Northumbria. There's, there's only one. Oh, only one. Of, of, of. There we go. Um. I. I want to join him. So I tag along down. And to the harbor in the hopes he will agree to take to take me. When he doesn't <laughs> sensing a theme here from my uh, my my second my uh, my first one. I when he doesn't I decide I decide to wait until nightfall. Nightfall. And stow away on board. My uh, my previous vampire actually uh <clears throat> did that as well. Um <laughs> not trying to uh, not actually trying to repeat themes, but um eh. uh, I decide to wait till nightfall of nightfall and stow away on board. I think I am well hidden. However, I soon realize that I am not. I 
uh, that I am not, that I am not. A figure. Slowly emerges from shadows. And corners me among among the cargo. It does not look friendly. Why? <laughs> Dylan says, a scary figure. Dun, dun, dun. I, th yeah, kind of. Kind of. Uh, judging... Judging by his clothing, I realize he is... He is that he is the ship's captain. He is the ship that he is the ship's captain. When he approaches me. Gives me an ultimatum. Yeah, that's the best part I can come up with <laughs> for this uh, for this for this bit here. Um, Flee, but uh, flee, but never, never see my father again, or allow him to drink from me. And and join him. The idea of never seeing just of never seeing my father again is. more painful than what I imagine this captain uh, what I then what I imagine this that then then that I imagine then what I imagine this captain drinking from me would be. I agree. In an instant, a row of sharp teeth send in captains. I just realized I have not actually named this captain. I should probably do that. Uh, this end in the captain's mouth, and he I don't really want to go the traditional route of the whole sinking teeth into neck thing. And he 
takes a hold of my he takes a hold of my right arm bites into my wrist deeply and the world fades away when I turn to it is morning and I am still below decks I'm still below decks But I somehow, but I feel different. Here we go. So, that is a thing. All right, so my mark, so going back to my mark, my mark is now, I should actually name the vampire in there. Um, <laughs> let me amend that really quickly. <laughs> uh, I realize it is the ship's captain. Bjorn. There we go. I'm going to amend that really quickly. Uh, so my mark. So I have... Uh, I have a deep bite mark on my right wrist. Um, I wear a glove to hide it. All right. So those are the five memories. They are, um, there we have it. And something actually I, I do want to um I do want to touch on really, really quickly. Um what what Tim Hutchings has done in this uh in in the PDF, uh he's included a, a page where uh where he reminds his players to to play hard but to play safe. And in uh, toward the back of toward the back of the PDF and uh the back of the the physical uh the physical book uh that I do uh have coming I have ordered um he includes a, a page that is essentially a means of checking yourself as you're going because I, I mean as you can see there I I could have that could have gone that could have gone any way any 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 number um of different directions and sometimes some of the prompts make can go very very dark um and you may not be expecting them to and what he does is he reminds you to check yourself every three or four prompts if you need to and um you know and if everything is still good and you're happy and you're giddy and and oh this is amazing awesome keep going if um you know if you're starting to feel not sure oh then give yourself a couple of more prompts if if you want to but feel free to stop at any time and or but be careful and if you feel yourself basically going no i i'm you know you can't breathe your anxiety is up um whatever that happens to be you can stop at any time um and as uh as somebody who actually who does deal with mental illness that is um an amazing thing to see um, to see the creator basically taking care of, of, of their players, of, of the people that are playing the game, um, and saying, you know, if you need to check yourself, you know, make sure you check yourself, make sure you are having fun, and if you are not having fun, stop playing. You know, it's okay. Uh, come back in a couple of days if you want to. Um, you know, put it down, walk away, and then, and then come back. Um, for the purposes of this stream, I'm probably I'm gonna try and keep it more on the lighter side. I don't know how 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 deep and dark I'm gonna go with this, uh, but we will see. We'll see what the what the prompts uh, what the prompts give because uh, the first prompt you get is 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 a doozy. 
Uh, so, on to the prompts. And uh, so in beginning, so the way that you, uh, essentially, the way you begin this, as I just pull up my, uh, you begin, you begin with the first prompt. So everybody begins with the same prompt. From there, you do the die roll, which I, okay, I need to uh, restart my, just need to refresh my little camera, uh, my phone camera that I'm using for uh, for my dice tray. There we go. Now, now you can see me. All right, cool. Uh, so again, um, to get to the prompts, you you roll, uh, you roll a d10, ten-sided die, which is this guy right here, with a six-sided die, this guy right here, and. So we have nine minus three. So you subtract the uh, the the, uh, the d six from the d ten. So that would be six. Now I'm not going to. Uh, that would be plus six. So you would uh, advance uh, advance six from from where you were. Um, and at some points you can go forward. You can go backwards. So you know you may end up with a roll that's you know uh, one minus nine. Oh, you're going back eight. Uh, I actually had a I had a, a bit when in my last in my last playthrough where I think I went back and forth. Um, I didn't. I was. I think I was stuck in like the 40s and 50s, like sort of that 47 to 53 mark, and I just kept going back and forth. I'm like, can I? I, I hadn't. I didn't move forward for quite a while. It was. It was actually kind of. Uh, it was. It was a kind of interesting. So onward, onward, and. Uh, Onward and upward, I suppose. So the first prompt that everybody um, that everybody gets is, "Oh dear, right. Well, I think I already know where this is going, and uh, yeah, yeah, this will be fun. All right. So the first prompt: In your blood hunger, you destroy someone close to you. Kill a mortal character." Create a mortal if none are available, uh, and take the skill Bloodthirsty. Well, <laughs> uh, David, remember that um, you killed my father. Prepare to die. <laughs> I think I know where this is going. Um, this is wow. I I didn't actually think I would ever be uh, committing anything like that. But I, this uh, just based on where my vampire is right now. Uh, that considering she's on a on a on a ship. <laughs> um, yeah, this is just sort of I think the way I'm going to go. Um, gosh, I'm going dark already. This is <laughs> this is lovely. <laughs> This is going to be fun. All right, so I take the skill. I'm actually just going to change the font there just so that everything is the same. <laughs> um, Scott, uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much Scott just said, Daddy's got to die, and yeah, yeah. Yep. This should be, this should be a little bit interesting. So I'm adding the skill Bloodthirsty, which... Oh, it makes sense. It makes sense. I'm a vampire. I, uh, you know, normal food doesn't satiate me, and uh, so I, I want, I want blood. Um, the, you know, the lovely stuff that uh, that pumps, pumps through my veins. Um, something actually too. I just, I just realized that I forgot to mention when I, when I started. Um, is. Um, when I uh, when I did mention the end game, um, you know, eventually your vampire um, will die. There are two ways. Um, sorry, I know I'm bouncing, uh, I'm bouncing around a little bit, but I just realized I forgot to tell you guys. Um, there are two ways your vampire can die. Uh, one, the prompt tells you. The prompt says so. You know, you are destroyed. You die. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. There are also there's also another way you can uh, you can die you if you lose if you end up with no skills or resources and a uh, a prompt tells you to lose one of them and you don't have any of them 
to lose, you die. You die. Uh, which it makes sense in, in a from a logical standpoint. Uh, you know, you lose you lose the things that you can do, and you lose you lose the resources. You lose the things that you have. Yeah, death is often pretty imminent. Uh, in in that you know after after that. Um, and also, if you end up in a situation where uh, it tells you to check a skill and you have no skill to check, you lose a resource. So just go to, if you have a resource, you lose that resource uh, and vice versa. So if it tells you to lose a resource and you don't have a resource to lose, but you do have a skill, you can check that skill. Uh, so there's a little bit of wiggle room in terms of, um, in terms of losing, uh, losing things and how quickly, how, on how quickly you can and, and cannot uh, lose them so um now i just need to figure out where i am putting this uh where i'm putting this memory uh where i'm putting this experience i could put it with dad because uh spoiler alert um that is pretty pardon me that is pretty much uh who is going to die I am sorry, but I could also put it in memory five. Actually, I think that's where I may, I might actually put it because it's in relation to me becoming a vampire. Um, and, and my father still feature, my, my father features in that memory. So I think, I think that's how I'm going to tie, uh, how I'm going to tie them, uh, them together. So, ooh, I think I left that tea to sit a little bit too long. It is a little cold now, but that is all right. Cold tea doesn't normally bother me. All right, so. All right, so I'm just going to read the prompt again, uh, just because it's been a little bit. Uh, in your blood hunger, you destroy someone close to you. Kill a mortal character. Create a mortal if none are available. I have done that. I have created a character just to kill them. Uh, take the skill bloodthirsty. So I've already taken the skill bloodthirsty. All right, Dad. I'm sorry. Um... It has been a few days since since Bjorn turned me and turned me into a vampire. Turned me into a vampire, and I have been steadily growing hungry I have plenty of food on the ship but regular but it longer satiates me the way it used to In fact, it doesn't satiate me at all. As I As I watch the people around me, I realize I realize that I can hear their heartbeats and smell iron in their blood. And I want it. I 
night or getting down in the evening. Father approaches, approaches me. He has not been happy with my coming along. So he has rather Dently accepted it. He he. Tells me that he is angry with <laughs> that he is angry with Captain Bjorn for allowing me to stay aboard in the first place, and that he is going to confront him come morning. Something within me cannot allow this. When night falls and oh boy when night falls and I am sure my father is asleep, I make my way over to his cot and do one thing I never thought. I ever would. The fangs descend, and I tear into the flesh of his neck. Fortunate, fortunately, for. Fortunately, there we go. Fortunately, his death comes quick. Nigh on silently. I wrap the cot material around him. Haul him up to the deck and toss him overboard to hide what I have done. Well, <laughs> that, um, that, uh, <clears throat> that went in a way I was not expecting. <laughs> At all. Um, sorry, Dad. You are, uh, your fish food. All right. Yeah, yeah, that definitely went in a direction I, um, I hadn't quite, I hadn't quite expected. 
um, at all. Um, I'm actually going to, something that I was doing in my last journaling one was just uh, uh, giving myself what prompt, um, what prompt it was and um, just so that I can la later on go back and, and uh, equate the memory with the, or connect the, the memory with the, uh, with the prompt. All right, now we begin to roll. So I started with prompt one. Let's see where we end up. And okay, they are good. They're both on screen. Oh, nope, there are, all right, I have rolled. But I am, I do apologize. I'm having a little bit of trouble with my, uh, with the camera I'm using for the, I'm actually using, um, there we go. Oh, good. They both are on screen. Um, with my, uh, <clears throat> with the camera for my dice tray. Um, I'm just, I'm using an app that, uh, that runs through a, uh, a website to, um, to connect it with the, what tech I have. So, uh, that was the roll, but you know what? I'm actually going to roll again because it did not, it actually did not show up on camera. Um, and my rule to myself is if a roll does not show up on camera, it does not count. So we are going to roll again. And they're both on camera. All right, so seven minus one, that means I'm going up six. So I'm going to prompt seven. Four, five, six, seven. Oh. Okay, all right, this, this, is, this is interesting. This is actually, this is a very interesting prompt. Your body manifests some trait related to the vampire that created you. How do you become more like them? Create a skill that reflects this. I think I know where I'm going with this. I think... I think I know where I'm going with this. And I think I know where it's going to end up. All right. So it's going to end up in me in my in my uh <clears throat> in my last memory, my memory 5 here, which means this memory is going to be full. So if the next prompt is something that uh you know, doesn't relate to anything anything else, I might have to discard it. Um I actually have not had a memory fill up this quickly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my last playthrough, it it was it took um, several it was several prompts before everything before anything filled up, but uh, not so this time. Um, let's see. Yeah. Okay. As the voyage. Lord Umbria continues find myself find myself coming more and more part of the crew. We workings of our ship Come second nature to me. And
and it almost feels like Vessel is a part of me. Ah, uh, this vessel is a part of me. I begin to realize that these things that are that are now seemingly in nature to me are are the re reason reasons are the reasons why Bjorn Bjorn is a good captain. He knows his ship well. He knows his ship well. He knows his ship well. He knows his ship well, and now so do I. So, um, skill in relation to that. Um, I know ships. Ships, not shops. Ships. Um, I should actually probably um, make that a, a little bit. Uh, I'm going to make that actually a little bit more specific. Um, I know how to sail, um, rather than rather than I know I know ships, because um, I know ships could be you know you point out at sea and know the ship, or you know how to how to sail a ship. All right, so that is that's memory. That's memory five is now full. So we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens with the next roll. All right, we have four minus five. That is minus one. So I am going back one to prompt six. Okay. And prompt six is, a mortal character begins serving you. Who are they? Why are they drawn to you? Create a new mortal character. Okay. Well, I think I can connect that... Hmm... There are two I think there are two places I can I can I can I can tie this in. I can tie it in with memory four because I understand the value of having of having a surf and essentially this is what this uh this mortal character becomes. I could also potentially connect it with memory one in that um uh being from a military family is what draws that character to me. And I think that's what I'm going to go with. Uh, I think that's what I'm going to go with because I, I, I want, I kind of want to see what happens, what happens with Ragnar in, in, in the future. I want to, uh, I just want to see what, I just want to see what happens.
So yeah, I think I'm going to connect it with, uh, I think I'm going to connect it up here to, uh, to my military family and as to, you know, um, that's why, that's why this person, uh, ends up drawn to me. Uh, I need, now what I need to do for this and trusty old, uh, trusty old name name websites I just I need to come up with a name for for this person so let's see yeah that'll work that'll work all right I think I have a name for her. And I'm going to name her first. I'm going to do the name first and then do the memory. So I. Astrid. And uh, she is now. She is serving me. She is. All right, so this is now probably, I'm not sure if I want to make this happening the same year. I might, I might have it happen the same year. It is late. What year did I say it was? Nine, I think it was 9.46 and it is, yes. When shipments all on the in uh, on the Northumberland court coast. Let's see. All right. Uh, we are met with, of course we are, with resistance from the locals, local populations. But in the end, we are victorious. In the end, we are victorious. After skirmish, I notice I notice a young woman watching me. Blood off of my sword. There's a young woman watching me clean the blood off of my sword. She looks curious and eager. I invite her to sit with me. I invite her to sit with me. She does. And tells me tells me she 
has never before seen before actually seen a woman in battle let's actually I'm just going to uh, I know I really shouldn't be going back and editing but I'm actually going to turn a uh, young woman she's actually going to be um, she's actually she, I think she's going to be uh, she's going to be a teenager I think actually rather than rather than a full grown um, woman I think she's going to be uh, a little bit younger um, someone who can could be I guess easily swayed easily influenced She has never, uh, she has never be act before actually seen a woman in battle. She she begins asking if there is anything she can do for me. Uh, clean my sword. Repair my clothing as she's... She's a good seamstress. Anything that... Anything that would help in any way. No longer with servants of home, which I guess I could technically, could technically get rid of as a resource. I could probably lose that resource because I'm no longer. Uh, well, actually, no. I actually know I could probably keep it in in an extension um, with with Astrid, actually. Uh, so maybe I don't actually have to lose that resource just yet. Uh, no longer with the servants of home. I agree. I agree. And she becomes my trusted Right, and this was prompt six. And I think I forgot to do that with the other prompt. I did forget to do that. Oops. And this is this was prompt seven, I believe. Okay, I still have about twenty minutes left in this in the stream. We're kind of speeding along here. Let's on to the next on to the next prompt. And they're both on camera. Awesome. Alright, so four minus two is two. So we're going from prompt six up to prompt eight. Alright. Prompt eight is you are recognized for what you are by another creature like yourself. Create an immortal character. Lose a resource and gain a skill. What sh what did you lose to them? Oh boy. All right.
Well, I am looking at sword as a thing that, that I could actually lose um, to this to this immortal character. Um, yeah, that would probably be the most detrimental thing to lose right now. So yeah, yeah, I think I think that's what that's gonna be. So by sword. It was uh Nobody tell my mother that uh that her sword was uh stolen. Uh please. <laughs> I don't think she'd be very happy. Um I really don't think she'd be very happy with that. So, uh, I need to gain a skill. And I think I think I know what... Uh, I, I admit this is a skill I tend to fall back on a little bit. I've, I've, I have come up with this, this prompt before. Um, but... Um, actually, I'm going to go through... I'm going to... I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to create the prompt first. And then... Do, well, nah, that actually doesn't really matter. So... Um, I know others like me exist. Um, I, I do admit this is a, um, a skill I tend to fall, I have fallen back on a couple of times. Um, I, I did end up with this, with this, uh, prompt my first play, my first playthrough. Um, which ended up with actually having a very interesting, very interesting result. And I need a character. There we go. There are my characters. I need a new immortal character. Um, and I'm just going to do a quick, a quick look-see to see if I can, um, come up with something. Um, And let's Let's name her uh, What shall we name her? Let's name her Edith. And... Alright, so let's connect this. Here, it's connected to my sword uh, and my mother, which I'm about to, uh, I'm, a, I'm about to, <laughs> uh, David, uh, David, uh, cause, uh, came with, sorry, I had to disappear for a bit. Are you looking for a man with six fingers yet? <laughs> um, uh, no, no, um. Actually, I'll uh, I'll I'll just scroll up for uh, give you a look at my characters. Um, I am no longer av I'm I am not actually avenging um, my father's death um, because um, that 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 first prompt went in a uh, very 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 dark 
direction very, very quickly. And I ended up right down here in memory five. I think it's in here. Yeah, I ended up killing my father. So... <laughs> Um, so, I mean, unless, unless I am the man with six fingers, uh, I am not avenging my father's death. Um, that would make for a very, very short story. Um, if, uh, if I were the man with six fingers and I'm avenging my own father's death. Well, um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's okay. You took a... Took a, a dark turn very, 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 very quickly. I was certainly not expecting to um, to engage in, in in patricide so quickly, uh, or at all, at all, even. Um, so yes, so I am um, I am recognized for for what I am by another by another creature. Uh, I have created a, an immortal character. I will lose a resource and gain a skill. I've already lost. I've already marked that resource as lost. <laughs> David says plot twist. Yes, yeah. Um, that is essentially what this game does. It's 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 all the plot twists all the time, and um, and that's what I love about it because I am a habitual planner. Um, David will know this. Um, I am such a such a habitual planner, and this just it, it forces me to toss all those plans out the window. It it essentially it's kind of like the the, the dog and duck hunt. You know, Nintendo's duck hunt that, you know, you miss all the ducks and he comes out and goes, hee 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 um, That's essentially what this game does. Uh, sometimes it plays into your hand. Sometimes you can you, you can use the, the prompts and, and, and twist them in and, and, you know, connect them in, in, in ways that make sense for what you want to do. And I, I was lucky enough to do that with my first playthrough. Other times, it just looks at you and goes, nope, nope, we're not doing that today. And um, you end up going in a whole other whole other direction. Um, so it's actually really really nice to to let go of the planning and just go with the flow, um, which is apparently what I did. <laughs> um, so yes. So anyway, sorry. Onto the prompt. I I, I am recognized uh, by somebody other than myself. Um, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna fast forward a, a couple of years. I think. Um, actually, no, 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 I'm, I'm not, yeah, a couple of years, let's do that, let's, let's, uh, it is, um, so, it is now, I eh, will call it 950, um, if ever I actually, uh, go ahead in, in, um, in years, I usually, I'll just mark it, it's more, more or less for myself, uh, just so I can look back on it and go, okay, this is when it happened in, in, in the timeline. Um, so it is, <laughs> uh, I'm glad, I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you like that, uh, like that, Dylan. Um, so year 950, I, okay, so what am I doing? I'm probably, it's been, actually, sorry, it's been four years, I guess now. Um, I've probably been in Northumbria a while. Um, I'd better be. I fought to stay there. Um, so I'm actually going to add, I think I'm going to add a, a resource. It's, oh no, I lose a resource, but I could probably, eh. um, it doesn't tell me to, but I think I'm actually going to gain a resource and I'm going to do that now before I forget. Um, I have, I have ADD. Forgetting is something I do very well. Um, I'm going to actually add, I'm going to add a home uh, in Northumbria, and I'm not going to say where, because it's just a big place, and I do, that, that was a big area, and I just do not have time to actually, uh, I just don't have the, the, the time to actually look at a map and go, I am going to live here. Um, I'm, uh, yeah, just going to be somewhere in Northumbria, probably along the coast, um, would make, it just seems to, seems to make sense to me. Um, so in, uh, <laughs> east, trying to get that map of, uh, that map of England in my head. Um, it doesn't always stay put. 
So yeah, so I'm I'm just gonna add my I'm gonna give myself a resource because I've I've been there for I've probably been there for about four years. Um the only other person who knows what I who knows what I am is Bjorn and uh Bjorn has probably gone back gone back toward Norway. Um at this point, possibly. I have no idea where he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh he might show up at a at a at a later uh at a later, at a later point. So um So yes, so alright, so I have I have been living in I'm just gonna make sure this camera is still going. Yes it is, my dice tray camera is still uh is still operational. Woohoo. Uh I have been I have been living near the east uh I guess you can say coast. I think there was really only is one coast. Uh coast of uh, nope. It really helps if I can spell. Uh, with, uh, with... Stretch for four years. Now... Um... We have lived in... We have lived... Well, no, no. There would have been quite a few skirmishes around that time, because that was just after the, uh, that was around the time of the <laughs> second, <laughs> the second invasion. Um, eh, this is an alternative history, so, um, <laughs> from here on out, alternative history. Uh, we have, we have lived in, I'm going to say relative peace, actually. Uh, re relative. Relative peace since Land, since landing, barring a few minor skirmishes, barring a few minor skirmishes, yeah, uh, one night, one night. Just as I was drifting off to sleep, the sound of footsteps was heard outside of my door. I rose from my bed to investigate. Rose from my bed to investigate. And upon opening the door, I was met by Wow, my folklore is eluding me. Um, yeah, yeah, I might just have to, um... And the only folklore that's coming to my head is, uh, is Irish folklore, which is not gonna help me in Northumbria. Um... Yeah, I think I'm just gonna have to, uh, make her a crone. I, mean, I think I'm just gonna have to make her a witch. Of some sort. Yeah, that's, um, that's my easy way out, I think. I was met by a woman dressed... Uh, yeah. Um... Dressed in... No, I'm not going to do that. Uh, yeah, I was met by a woman. Um, with a piercing stare. A piercing I reached behind Or 
for my sword. Only to continue reaching. The sword was not where I had left it. getting into bed. The woman smiled a oh I mischievous oh and now here's a word you're gonna have fun watching me try to spell it uh, a miss Nope, I do that every time. Miss, Mr... ah, I did it. Um, I always add that extra, that extra e, uh, sound in there. Um, so I smiled a studious smile. And. You smile and yield. And from her wine colored robes, old. The very sword I had been looking for. How had she entered the room? I did not remember hearing anyone until hearing those steps. Moments ago. She spoke in grief, told me, she spoke in brief. she told me her name was Edith, and that and that she had been watching me for some time. She She revealed to me that she had missed me hunt a member of a member of the village and thus she knew what I was. With another another grin she turned on her heel and left, taking my sword, taking my sword with her. 
come back here. Um, so that was on eight. All right. Yeah. So um, I now know that there are other things like me. Uh, apparently, I have a. Oh, and she is. Uh, I did mention what she was, did I not? No, I didn't. Um, <laughs> I never actually mentioned what she is. I think, uh, I think for the moment, I think I'm just gonna call her a witch. Um, I don't really, I didn't really have anything in mind. My, uh, unfortunately, my, uh, my, my, my English folklore has sort of uh, eluded me in terms of uh, different little, uh, different uh, mythological beings that. Um, that they that they have there uh so yeah so this is uh actually this is just about gonna uh this will actually yeah let's try that again this prompt will bring me to the end of tonight's stream uh so it's not bad we got through uh i think we got through about three or four uh three or four prompts in this um in this session uh so this is uh this is the first episode of what will probably be uh maybe about a three or four uh three or four stream uh session of Tim Hutchings' Thousand Year Old Vampire, um, it is it's an awesome game. It's 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 awesome. It uh, it definitely takes you in places that, as you as you saw tonight, um, it definitely takes you in places that that you don't think you're gonna go, um, and you end up you end up going there, and and it's it's fun. It's uh, yeah, it's just yeah, it's awesome. Uh, right now it is uh, it is available. I have the link uh, right down there. Uh, in it's kind of sitting in my dice tray. Uh, TimHutchings.itch.io uh, is where you can get the game. Uh, you can get a PDF uh, of it, downloadable PDF form uh, form of it for I believe it's fifteen dollars US. Or you can pre-order the uh, the hardcover uh, of it. Um, I believe. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid I can't remember how much I actually spent on mine. Um, <laughs> David says truth. Yes, absolutely. Um, but uh, I just, I pre-ordered, I just pre-ordered the, uh, the second, second print of, of the hardcover book just to have it because uh, I'm just going to pull up the, uh, the, uh, the image that I, um, that I sort of I snatched off of off of uh, Tim Hutchings' uh, IO bit. It's a beautiful, beautiful book, um, and to be able to sit there and actually flip through the pages um, and and everything is will be a treat. It really will be uh, an absolute treat. And uh, oh, and there goes my my uh, there goes my dice tray camera but that's okay i don't need it anymore um and now you can see my links a little bit uh probably a little bit better um so yeah so do check it out if 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 you like what you saw um <laughs> david said it's a thing of beauty um actually i think i think you may have mentioned uh mentioned to me that you received it david uh if i'm remembering correctly uh from a past conversation that uh, that we had um and yeah i believe it I, I I would believe it's a thing of beauty. I I really I can't wait to get my hands on it. Um, it it's not supposed to ship till September, and September feels like a world away, <laughs> given given the way this this year has 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 been. Uh, but it really is a great 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 game. Um, I am uh, with this. I mean, I'm a writer first. I'm a writer before I'm um before I'm a gamer and. Yeah, um, I don't often write with prompts, but this is, um, you do have it, yeah, uh, David says, yeah, I do have it, yes, uh, which, yeah, which I, I thought so, um, you know, I, I don't usually write with prompts, but this, um, the prompts are just, are just vague enough that, um, that you can go almost anywhere with them, yet, they are restrictive enough, and maybe restrictive isn't isn't the right word, but um, they're restrictive enough that you don't go uh, you don't go overboard. If that 
makes any um if i i hope that makes some sense um it's yeah it's just an awesome an awesome an awesome thing so that that is that is me that is i am jen uh all of i have a link tree down there um where you will find a link to my twitch you'll also find a link to my youtube where this video will uh, eventually end up um I'm going to, uh, I'll have to do some editing and have some fun uh, figuring out the Klingon subtitles. Just, uh, if, w I'll watch it again and see if I um, see any any mistakes that I may have I may have made in explaining it uh, early on and, uh, and all that. But uh, that's me. And if you are watching this on YouTube after the fact, please do give me a follow. I would absolutely appreciate that. Um, I don't know how much of this I'm really going to be doing, uh, but I decided to give it a try. Um, and uh, David, who is uh, Once Upon a Die uh, here in chat, he's the one to blame. <laughs> um, you can blame him. Um, he kind of, he really did rekindle my love of board games uh, very, very early on um, in our friendship. And, um, and it's just kind of gone from there. Um, and... You know, 2020 being what it is, it's lockdown. So, um, you know, I, I, I need something to, you know, we we sort of need something to do. And and this is definitely a game that I I find um, uh, Thousand Year Old Vampire, uh, even some of the other and some of the other solo RPGs. I think it's something I want to kind of get into um, because it's st streaming it to an audience is is I feel like. <laughs> David says, "Oops, uh, no, that's the, that that is a good thing. That is a good thing. Uh, my pocketbook might not think it's a good thing, <laughs> um, but it is. Um, but this is definitely something I want to. Um, I definitely want to get into because it is it is really really fun and just something to do with do with my time. Um, you know, on the days that I'm not at work and um, and something to sort of I guess reground um, ground me a little bit." and uh, get me back into the creative um just the creative aspect of of, of everything so uh so yeah again um thank you oh so very much uh those of you who have joined me uh and thank you everybody who's who watches who's going to be watching this on on youtube again give me a follow um and if you're watching this on twitch give me a follow on twitch please um i would i would love to build up a little bit of a community uh on here and um and turn your notifications on so you'll know uh when i'm next streaming uh live i hope to continue this actually next monday uh right now my work schedule has it that i am off uh hopefully hopefully off every monday um but uh, i will i will let you know uh all of my social medias are in my uh currently are in my link tree so do check that out that is all down there sitting very very neatly in my dice tray or it was sitting in my uh, just below my dice tray, and I hope ev hope everybody has a excellent rest of the evening and excellent rest of the week. I hope everybody please stay safe, and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>